Now for our next measure, we are going to see a function called calculate. And this is possibly the best and most useful function in all of DAX. We want to use it here to total the revenue for the weekend sales and also another measure to total the revenue for sales not at the weekend. Now the calculate function can do a lot more than what we're going to go into in this course. It's extremely powerful with its ability to remove or change filter context. All we want to use it for here though is to create a conditional sum, kind of like a sum if function in Excel for those of you familiar with that. So let me just check I'm on the sales table to begin with. If I click on sales on the right hand side and then I'm on the table tools tab but there's a new measure button there so I'm going to give that a click. The measure name will be total rev weekend and I'm going to use the calculate function. Evaluates an expression which will be our total revenue modified by filters. So getting a little bit more technical here especially with the explanation there. But don't let that put you off if you're not so experienced with formulas because the expression will be our total revenue measure. Now a really cool thing about this example is because we are using a measure inside a measure and you can see the calculator icon next to the measure name. And this is yet another advantage of DAX and the use of measures over those implicit measures I mentioned a few lessons ago. Is that once we have written it that one time and it's one calculation and we can format it in advance, but the fact that we can reuse it in other measures so I don't have to write a calculation to sum the revenue I've already done that I can just reuse it so here we go total revenue the comma and then the filter is going to be if that column that we created in the dates table earlier so dates where is that column is weekend that's what it was called is that equal to yes and we need that yes in those double quotes. I can then close off my calculate function and press enter and that's going to total the revenue, use that measure, but only if is weekend says yes. I will now check the formatting so it will be the British pounds and two decimals, fantastic. And I'm going to click on this new measure button. I mentioned it's in a lot of places. It's now on the measure tools tab. But if it says new measure, that's what we want. And this one is going to be the total rev, not weekend. You may be able to think of more creative measure names than me. But this, once again, will be calculate. I could have copied the previous one, but it's nice, especially when you're learning to get some practice writing these out. So the total revenue measure, comma to move on to that second argument, the first of potentially multiple filter arguments. We've only got the one which is if in the dates table, the is weekend field is equal to the value of no. Let's close that off and run it. And we've now got that second measure using calculate. It's always good practice to test these out well, I'm sure that's fine. But for this example, let me bring in a card, which I don't think we've done on this course so far. Over in visualizations, if I click on the card icon, which is that little one, two, three rectangle, that's going to insert it somewhere on my page. Let's put it all the way down here. Uh, that's, that's fine, but I'd prefer it up here. And I'll go and click one of those new measures uh, let's go for the non-weekend to begin with. So I don't really know what numbers I'm expecting here, but hopefully with your own work, you'll have a rough idea whether 3 million sounds about right or not. 
Uh, and it does here, actually. I think we've got a little over, uh, there you go, you've got 4.3 million, let's call it, as total. So for five days of the week to bring free sounds about right. What will cement that is if I click somewhere on my page to deselect that visual, and I go and put another card in, and let's drag that up. And for this one, I'll bring in the other measure, total rev weekend, and 1.22. So those figures are shown as millions, sort of been rounded to an extent, but those measures are working wonderfully. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.